hello guys welcome to my youtube channel so last week we did something a little bit complex because you have to have foundational knowledge in most of the softwares we explore so if you have not seen that and you're a pro please try and check it out i'm pretty sure you will learn a lot but this week we are going to be doing something quite simple uh because this is a beginner's video and you will learn a lot from this all right let's check it out so we're going to be creating a rolling ball animation without using third party plugin. All right, let's get to it. All right, so the very first thing I want to do is to create a composition. Then I will have to set this to about 5,000. The height should be about 150. I'd like to name this text review. Then change the frame rate to about 30 seconds and leave it at 10 seconds long which is fine and click ok then as soon as we do we have this long width composition let me just fit the screen next thing is to create our solid so i'm going to right click go to new click on solid we're going to make it this size the way i arrived at this size was to make it comp size and click on this and divide the width divided by four and if i click ok to give us that particular size to give us 1250 size which is fine i'm just going to name this right now as bg just normal background then uh, the color here doesn't really matter so i'm just going to change the color to this that's okay now click okay so we have this really dark color maybe we should change the color so i'll click on this go to my layer go to solid settings and i'll change this color to let's say something let's just change it to white okay for now click okay so i can really see what we are doing then i'm going to click this then i'm going to use my align tool if you cannot see your align tool just go to your windows then click on align it will definitely appear in your panel here then i'm going to just align this to the left then i'm going to duplicate this using ctrl d to duplicate then I'm going to align this to the right. Then I'm going to select this, duplicate, try and put this somewhere here and duplicate this as well, put it somewhere here. So it might not be so perfect. So what I will do now is I like everything like this, just clicking and dragging. Then I'm going to come to my align and use distribute horizontal. So if I do this, it will definitely distribute everything perfectly the way it should be. So let's move on. This is my first solid here. This is my second background. So this is the third. So I just need to rearrange this is actually the last and this is the third. I have it arranged you know, vertically this way. This first one, I need to change the color. So I'm going to use an effect for that. I'm going to do control space. I'm using FX console from video copilot. So I'm going to type in fill then i'm going to use it to change the color then i'll go to my effect control let me just adjust it a little bit let me just drag this out and drop it somewhere here so that i can only see my effect control so i'm going to change the color to a color that i prepared for this so i'm going to click this and then i'm going to just put in the value as always then come here just copy the value then i'll click ok then i'm going to just do the same thing so i'm just going to take this copy and paste on all of this then go to the next background change the color okay then the next one change the color as well and the last one the next thing i want to do is to create the text i'll go to my text tool then come here and i'll type rolling ball then now make sure this is aligned well so let me just zoom in a little bit i'm using my hand to, to adjust then just align this well to the center i think this is okay i can use my align to just make sure it's aligned vertically well and i'm good with that if you want to know the fonts i'm using montera and i'm using the bold right montera bold then i activated the bold and fox italic and also the all caps that's what i'm using for this particularly what i'm going to do is to just take this text duplicate and drag this here then change the color so i'm just going to use this color here i use the high dropout tool then i'll do the same duplicate the text again drag this here then this i'll just change this to white let me maybe not so white let's do something like this then i'll take this duplicate then drag here then i'll change this color to this background here so we have something like this but then I still need to change the text. What I will need to do, let me just adjust this. So I need to change this text to tutorial. Okay. Adjust 
change this to tutorial if i click and fit the screen i have my rolling ball tutorial text and with the backgrounds all set but then before we go i like to arrange things so what i need to do is to just take this drag it above this of course i need to name this as well so it's always good to name your layers like the marriage we always say I'm done renaming and I think I'm good for the text reveal composition. The next thing we want to do is to create another composition, which is going to be for the ball. So I'll click out, then I'll come here and click on a new composition. And this time around, I'm just going to make it our default, one of our default settings here. And I'll make sure this is 30 frames per second. I don't even, I'm not even sure if that matters right now. So I'm just going to name this ball. Okay. And I'm going to make it 10 seconds long and click ok then here all i need to do is to create solid and i'm going to <clears throat> divide this by four let me just name this bg for now just like i did the other time and i'm just going to click ok so as soon as i do i have this so i'm going to use my align to, to align to the left i'm going to duplicate this again align this to the right duplicate this just put it at the center here duplicate put that center here so of course it might, it might not be so perfect if you are trying to do it that way so i like everything then distribute everything horizontally and then i have this so right now the next thing i need to do of course is to give this some color i'm going to i like this type in fill effect drop this here right. and i'm going to change the color to color that i prepared for this okay i'm going to take this fill copy then paste on all of this then come here, change the color to this. Then come here, the third one, change the color. I have this color right here. So our ball is set. Let me just name all of this as always. Let me rearrange too. So let me first of all rearrange. So this is supposed to be the last. Then this. We are done with the ball comp. So the next thing we want to do is to create a new composition. I'm going to name this row and I'm going to make this uh, this size. It's practically 1920 times 2. This is going to give us the 4K resolution. But then I need to change this to height to the 200 and I'll click OK. So I have this long width composition again. But this time around, I'm going to drag in my text review and I'm also going to drag in my ball let me just solo my ball and this is what we have it's actually quite big in order for us to see this well let me just create a sample composition and make this full hd so that you guys can see what i'm trying to do so by dragging the ball here so this is what i have i'm about to add an effect to this so i'm going to come here and apply cc fair and click on this and i have this whole thing going on here so this is the effect i'm about to add to the ball in the row composition Okay, I just want you guys to really, really see this so that you guys can see what I'm doing clearly. So I'm just going to take this composition and then delete. Okay, because we're not going to be doing anything here now. Come here, then add the CC sphere. As soon as I do that, you can see that it's actually quite small. So let me just reduce the scale to about, let's say, 33%. Now, all I need to do is to tweak the settings. The first thing, I would like to go to the shading settings. I would like to take the diffuse down, then take the advent to about 100, and we should have this. One interesting thing about this is we can finally have the rotation properties here, and then by rotate on the x axis, can you see? The result i'm getting so let me change this to zero by rotate on the y axis which is what we are actually looking for we are halfway done so let me just change this back to zero but then there's something i really need to do i will activate the position here by pressing p then right click here then separate dimensions so i can actually have the x and y on their own but what i need to do i want to make sure i attach the x axis to the rotation properties by the time i'm moving to the left or right it's actually going to be rolling so how do we do that we're going to do that using simple expression don't worry it's not something really difficult or tedious to know it's quite something really simple so what i need to do now is to alt click my y rotation and then use this pick quick immediately to appear here then use this pick quick to target your x position and then click out by doing this all i need to do is if i move my x left and right can you see that it's actually rolling so let me zoom in a little bit more 
so you can see so by moving on the x axis can you see that it's rolling that's because the y rotation is actually attached to the x rotation so and this is what is going to drive the animation what i need to do now is to have my x uh, start from this point let's say from here i'm going to set my x position here and then so at the first second mark i'm going to move it to this point all i need to do is align this then I'll right click on the keyframe, easy ease, go to my graph editor, do something like this. So if I play this, this is what I have. So I have my ball rolling this way. We are done with the ball animation. So all I need to do is to activate this now and I can see how this is looking. I'll take my text review. So let me just take this, this point. And I'm going to zoom in a little bit and I'm going to try and kill this maybe to about 70%. Let's do 72%. I just want to make sure that the ball and the text reveal comp has the same size here. What I need to do now is to create a mat at this point here when it's at first second. Select this and then I'll move. Let me zoom in a little bit. Then I'll move this to the center point here. I think this is making sense then of course i'll create a rectangle using my shape click out make sure you click out and then i'm just going to have something like this let me just zoom in some more select this and let me just adjust this accordingly so i want to make sure it's at that half point okay right now i'm going to name this mat i'm going to take the mat above the text review and i'm just going to do alpha mat to this so it's always going to be revealing at that point i'm going to take my mat and i'm going to parent it to the ball because the ball is already moving so and i want the mat to always move with the ball so this is what i'm going to do and if i take my time indicator back can you see it's revealing let me zoom in so you guys can see well if i play this now can you see it's almost as if it's the ball is revealing just one small tiny detail on the ball i'm going to click on the ball and i'm going to apply drop shadow just click on this and if i zoom in a little bit and come here i'm going to change the direction to this side i am going to make the distance let's say 40 so that it can be really obvious so now you can see the shadow but then i'm going to increase the soft next to about 280 now it's really really soft then i'm also going to change the opacity to about 40 percent just to create some kind of depth so when it's rolling over you can almost tell so you can see we can have this kind of depth in there which makes it look more realistic so if i play this now this is what i have we are almost done with the animation so all i need to do now is to go to my composition name this a main comp then i'm going to change this to 30 frames per second make sure you are using the full hd option here you can also make this 10 seconds long which is fine so we have this and i'm just going to quickly create a background new solid name this bg I'll make this my comp size then click OK and I have this white background and I think I like to change the color of the background not to be too white I'm just going to apply fill to this then click on this and then change the color to the color that I prepared for this so it's, it's just a little bit off white I'll click OK and I have this then all I need to do is to bring in my row comp so this is my row comp and I'll drag it and put it here and if I play this can you see this is actually quite longer than our composition what we need to do is simple so at this point i'm going to set this to the position to be here to start from here so let me just come here and make sure align this to the left is fine then i'll click on position here and at the first second mark i'll just adjust this to be here and i think here is good let me just move forward a little bit to be here okay then I'll highlight this and I'll do easy ease, give him assistant, easy ease, graph editor, and I have the same animation or called. If I play this, I have something like this. You know, you can actually you know, guess what happened with the rest. What we need to do is to come here, duplicate this, let's say one more time. And then I'm just going to press P for position, come here, then select the word position so I can align everything like this, then drag it up. What I need to do is just take this, then offset this like three frames forward. One, two, three. So let me play this. 
So all we need to do right now is to go to this row or better say let's come here then come here and duplicate which is row 2. I'm going to click and hold down alt to replace with the second row. Then I'm going to double click this. Now I need to duplicate also the ball and the text review. So I'm going to come here when I have ball duplicate use ctrl d to duplicate and i'm going to just going to replace that as well the text review i need to duplicate that too as well and i'm just going to replace this now i can freely go into my text review too and make some changes i'm just going to fast forward this part because we all get the gist i'm done changing the colors if i go back to my row 2 you can see the color has changed so i'm also going to go to ball 2 i'm also going to change some colors here or better still i can just rearrange that's also a smarter way of doing it i press my tab tab again to the main we have something really different so if i play this now we have this ball rolling animation with this you could just go ahead and keep duplicating until you have a cool result i have showed in the sample so here is the process summary for today's animation so the very first thing you want to do is to create a composition and then make sure you create four different colors using solids after that you pre-compose it and add effects cc sphere then you adjust the settings to make it look flat and then you animate and that's it for today's um, tutorial so if you really do enjoy this please make sure you subscribe that's the only way you could help and of course gives it a thumbs up i really advise you give it a like because that's the only way other people can get to see this and can also help the channel a lot and of course make sure you click on the bell icon so you can get real time updates from me all right guys so i will see you guys in the next video peace